हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू सॉफ्ट इवेनी टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट इंटरप्राइज प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल बैकग्राउंड स्ट्रक्चर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम कंटिन्यू आवर वीडियो Here we open Primavera P6. On the top of the layer, we go to Enterprise Project Structure. From here, there are two places from where we can enter Enterprise Project Structure. From here also, we can add or remove Enterprise Project Structure here. Here we can see this icon, pyramid icon, yellow color. When we zoom in. you can see it clearly this this icon this icon we open from enterprise project structure here what is enterprise structure the enterprise project structure represents the hierarchical structure of all the projects in the database the eps can be subdivided into as many level or nodes as needed to represent work at your organization nodes at the highest or root level might represent division within your company project phases site locations or other major grouping that meet the need of your organization projects always represent the lowest level of the hierarchy even every project must be included in eps node so here we will create our eps enterprise project structure as we last created organizational breakdown structure i create my eps jho company here we write eps id here we can, we can see eps id we can write id like if our company name is jho so we write here jho okay eps name jho company so this is its id is jho and eps name is jho company it's in the bottom we can move up up on the top here you can see it's training its main projects layout so tables so you can see also enterprise is training on there so from here you can assign responsible manager as we learn in the previous lecture organizational breakdown structure we can assign responsible manager from here from here we we'll go to top and filter by all obs elements then we can see all the obs if we don't filter then we can see only project so we assign jho company to this one this is responsible manager for this eps so further we create more eps nodes you can see here so we write id here let type id 1 1 is 1 and it comes under jho company so we type here jho so this we write three phases construction group or department department this is sub node construction department this is our first we write a eps name eps id here we assign responsible manager construction department here it's completed and we add one more the second one we can also write like jho c dash c means construction department jh o e means engineering department engineering department
as it is we enter insert button and add another department procurement procurement is very useful on primavera it's very helpful to track your procurement items procurement the necessary phase of the project procurement and the last one administration department or finance department we write here jho jho you can also write here no problem but i am used to by writing here Here we write the last one. By mistake, write J S O dash F means finance department. By means department. No, I assign all the responsible managers from here. Engineering, engineering department here. I assign procurement, procurement department here, and I assign administration, administration department here. I assign finance, finance department here. Oh, let's finish. Further, you can add more. EPS below there must be added and you can shift right and enter more EPS if it's residential projects infrastructure projects in construction engineering phases are its design its drawing whatever you want it's it's it, it will be more detailed if it is a big organization so uh, let's see in chart view as we see in uh obvious i'll make the window bigger see here okay you can easily see this is jho jho c e here you can see who is responsible managers all the details in the top it's eps ID, EPS name, and the other one is the last one is your responsible manager here. You can see easily from here. Also, you can uh, you can change as we, I told you in last lecture. Horizontal, you can move it to vertical. You can move it to left. You can move it to right. Whatever you want, and from here you can change, uh, customize your chart font. You can change chart font from here, background, all all that, all that. Okay, let's let's finish it. When we go to last table view, this one we created, and when we close, and here, 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 like all the projects, we we move for control. Negative control expand. If we enter plus sign, it will be move for one. Here, it, here are our all departments. See, this is our EPS, all the EPS engineering, procurement, administration, uh, finance department. There are also in some projects in this already uh, in Primavera database. You can learn from here also. These are I created in enterprise project structures. So this lecture is over now. Today we learn enterprise for how to create enterprise project structure. So my learners, my viewers, 
please wait for our up upcoming videos if you like our videos please like comment and share and please subscribe my channel for upcoming videos